Today, the head of Volkswagen U.S. said the scandal that has wiped out a third of VW's market value was the work of individuals, not a corporate conspiracy. He tried to explain to Congress how 11 million diesel cars were rigged to cheat on emissions tests. Chris Van Cleve was there. VW has betrayed a nation. It's time to clean it up or get off the road. I apologize on behalf of everyone at Volkswagen. VW's U.S. CEO Michael Horn told a skeptical House committee he only learned of his company's deception in September, days before the Environmental Protection Agency revealed some of Volkswagen's diesel cars used software designed to cheat on emissions tests. The investigations are ongoing, but this was not a corporate decision. From my point of view, this was a couple of software engineers who put this in for whatever reasons. Horn testified three engineers have been suspended, but New York Congressman Chris Collins wasn't buying it. VW is trying to get the United States of America to believe these are a couple of rogue engineers. I categorically reject that. Horn acknowledged it may cost the company billions of dollars, and it could take years before all of the roughly half million affected vehicles in the U.S. are fixed. Some repairs could begin early next year. Morgan Griffith of Virginia drives an affected 2012 diesel Passat. Volkswagen needs to stand up and say, okay, we understand we will buy your car back. EPA officials were also criticized for missing the defeat device discovered by researchers in West Virginia. The EPA's Christopher Grundler defended the agency under questioning from Texas lawmaker Mike Burgess. Once we learned of this excess emissions, we, we focused on it. We didn't uh, ignore it. I think the American people ought to ask that we fire you. EPA officials would not rule out the possibility of criminal charges, and that came just hours after German police raided Volkswagen's corporate headquarters. Scott VW announced they will not be offering the 2016 diesel cars here in the United States. And the engineers at Volkswagen suspended are top executives, the head of research and development, the chief of engine design, and the head of brand development. Chris Van Cleve for us tonight. Chris, thank you.